so very good morning all of you so in the last class i have explained about the it is half wire rectification circuit diagram the full wire rectification circuit diagram and also the bridge wire rectification okay and also what's the differences between that half wire rectifier and the full wire rectifier is also seen in the previous class okay and uh, and in this class we are going to see the there's uh, the expression for the ripple factor and the efficiency it is for the half wire rectifier as well as for the full wire rectifier so in this class we'll see we'll see the formula for the ripple factor for the half wire rectifier and for the full wire rectifier and also the efficiency for the half wire rectifier and for the full wire rectifier okay so if you take the expression for the ripple factor already you know the definition okay so the ripple factor it is the so it is the ratio of the ac voltage at the output to the dc voltage at the output here so i said that in the rectification it is going to give you the pulsating dc so it is pulsating means what i said it is the dc it is with the sum amount of the ac so the amount of the ac voltage present at the output to the dc voltage at the output itself is going to give the ripple factor okay so that it is to be given by the formula as it is r is equal to under root of i rms divided by i dc whole square minus 1 i rms is the ac component i dc is the dc component here and it is the formula to be considered in order to calculate the ripple factor here okay and uh, initially if you take the ripple factor calculation for the half wire rectifier half half wire rectifier so this ac component i rms is equal to im by 2 and i dc is equal to im by pi it is to be considered its derivation is not uh, is not there for you okay it's there for the engineering students and for the diploma students it's sufficient to be okay consider so this i rms is equal to im divided by 2 and i dc is equal to it is im divided by pi okay and i am going to place the value of the i rms and the i dc in the above equation so if it is to be placed in this equation it is r okay ripple factor is equal to i rms divided by i dc whole square minus 1 here okay if i am going to place these values okay in the above equation means r is equal to in the i rms i am going to place as im divided by 2 in place of the i dc i am going to place the im divided by pi and if it has been square it is minus 1 so after simplification that this im 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 by 2 is uh, it is so it has been squared so it is equal to im square divided by 4 into what this denominator uh, what this denominator content uh, it is content is to be moved um, in order to make it as of the reverse here i i think you know that it is uh, a divided by b entire thing divided by c divided by d is equal to it is uh, a divided by b into it is d divided by c so it is going to make use of the same formula okay this is equal to im square divided by 4 into it is pi square divided by im square this is minus 1 im square and the im square is going to cancel it's what's the remaining is equal to pi square divided by 4 minus 1 and if it has been simplified so so the value of the r is equal to 1.21 okay if you want means you can simplify the value okay in this case it is what is this uh, it is pi so the value of the pi is equal to 3. Point, it is 142 is there okay this is the value of the pi here i think you know that one it is a 3 point it is equal to pi square it, so it is what the pi is to be written uh, what the pi square is to be written it is pi into pi so it is equal to 3.142 into it is 3.142 okay which is going to give you the value of the pi square only pi square here so which is equal to 9.87 and it is to be divided by 4 here i am going to divide the entire content divided by the 4 here so that you got as of the 2.46 and after the after after that is asking to subtract 1 so it is minus 1 after subtracting the minus 1 you are going to get as of the 1.46 so it is under the root here so if i take the root of this one so that you are going to get here as of the 1.216 so this value of the r is equal to this 1.21 has been considered only two digits 
okay in this way so the ripple factor uh, it is for the hardware rectifier as been okay obtained understood now so that you should consider the formula r is equal to irm divided by idc whole square minus 1 i am going to take irm is equal to im by 2 idc is equal to im by 2 so if these two values is to be placed in this equation okay and after simplification in this we are going to get r is equal to this 1.21 okay in the same way if you take for if you take the ripple factor it is for the full wave rectifier it is for the full wave rectifier i am going to consider i rms is equal to im divided by 2 and idc is equal to 2 im divided by pi okay so i think these formulas is also explained while explaining the comparison between the half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier in the previous video okay now so for that purpose uh, you can remember it very clearly it is for the half wave rectifier it is im divided by 2 irms and idc is equal to im divided by pi here so this irms is equal to im divided by it is root 2 for the full wave rectifier and idc is equal to 2 im divided by pi so that you can able to grab the difference here this is im divided by 2 this is im divided by root 2 and in this this is only im divided by pi this is equal to 2 im divided by pi okay and again you should consider the same formula r is equal to under root of pi rms divided by idc whole square minus 1 here if you consider the same formula and if the value of this irms and idc is to be placed in this equation so that you are going to get r is equal to under root of im divided by root 2 whole divided by is 2 im divided by pi whole square minus 1 and after simplification if this is to be squared this is equal to im square divided by 2 here under under root 2 if it has been squared so that under root and the square is going to cancel you are going to get only the 2 here so this is equal to im square divided by 2 into it is 2 im square it is divided by pi square after simplification it is equal to pi square divided by it is 4 im square and again i am square and i am square is going to cancel what's the remaining it is equal to pi square divided by 2 into 4 8 it is under root of the under root of it is pi square divided by 8 minus 1 okay uh, and after simplification you are going to get what the ripple factor is equal to 0.482 so that if you want means if you do the calculation with the calculator here okay see what the pi i said it is equal to 3.142 this 3.142 into it has been squared here okay it is 3.142 if it has been multiplied with the okay 2 it is going to give the square here it is equal to 9.87 okay it is to be divided by 8 it so if it has to be divided by 8 you are going to get as 1.23 and after the, after that one is to be subtracted it is minus 1 okay and you are going to get as so the it is equal to 0.23 and it is under the root here if you apply the square root you are go, you are going to get as of the 0.4837 etc it is equated to r is equal to 0.482 okay this is the this ripple factor for the full wave rectifier either it can be the center tap or it can be the bridge wave rectifier it is applicable for both here okay so the important point is if you take the ripple factor for the half wave rectifier it is equal to it is 1.21 okay for the half wave rectifier if you take for the full wave rectifier it is equal to 0.42 and this is the ripple factor okay and the next if you uh, and the next if you see the efficiency so uh, if you take the uh, if you take the definition of the efficiency it's nothing but the ratio of the dc power delivered to the load is to it is to that of the ac power from the second coil of the transformer so that eta it is uh, it is named as eta eta is equal to it is dc power delivered to the load is to be divided by ac input from uh, ac input power from the secondary transformer okay so this is equal to eta is equal to it is pdc this is the dc power at the output is to be it is to be divided by it is pac ac power at the input okay so so that you don't confuse with the it is a ripple factor and the efficiency what's the formula for the ripple factor so that is equal to i rms divided by idc ac component at the output divided by the dc component at the output side only there 
but in this case uh, the efficiency is equal to output dc power it is to be divided by the input ac power here okay and again if you want to calculate the efficiency for the half your rectifier again you should consider the same formula irms is equal to im divided by 2 and ic idc is equal to im divided by pi it is going to remain the same here it's not going to differ okay and uh, if you take the formulas for the power here ac input power so because in this case as per this formula so okay so you know to calculate the efficiency the ac input power and the dc output power is to be calculated here so if you take as ac input power is to be given by this pac is equal to i square r, i square rms into rd plus rl rd is the internal resistance of the diode rl is the load resistance okay and it is pac in place of the i rms i am going to place as i m divided by 2 you can see i rms is equal to i m divided by 2 is there it is itself is to be placed in this equation the, so this is going to become as i uh, i m uh, i square m divided by 4 into rd plus rl in the same way if you want to calculate the dc output power you can able to see ac is the input power okay and what this dc is the output power so the output power is, is to be given by the speed DC is equal to I square DC into RL. So it is going to consider only the, only the load resistance here. So the speed DC is equal to, and I'm going to place the value of the IDC. It is what's the value of the IDC here? IDC is equal to I am divided by pi is there. I'm going to place this as an I am divided by pi in this case. So this is equal to I square M divided by pi square into RL. Okay, and after that, what the, uh, so this AC power and, and, and the DC power is to be placed in this equation, efficiency. Efficiency is to be, is to be given by eta is equal to it is P DC divided by it is P AC into 100%. If you, if you want to calculate in terms of the percentage means here. Okay. So after placing the value of the P AC, okay, this is uh, and the P DC. So eta is equal to what the P DC, uh, it is I square M divided by pi square into RL. So it is to be placed here and it is to be divided by what the value of the PAC. This is equal to I square I square M divided by 4 into RD plus RL. And if it has been simplified, I square M okay is to be divided by pi square into it, it will go upper after simplification. It is 4 divided by M square into RL RL divided by RD plus RL. In this case, I M square and I M square is going to cancel. What's the remaining? So the remaining is equal to 4 divided by pi square. If it has been simplified so that you are going to get eta is equal to 0 0.406 into RL divided by RD plus RL into 100%. So RD is assumed to be the way is, is very small and it is going to be neglected here. And if it is going to be neglected, RD is equal to 0 means they so that you are going to get as of the 0.4 okay, 0 0.06 into RL divided by RL into 100%. RL, RL is going to cancel. So you are going to get eta is equal to 0 0.406 into 100. Eta is equal to it is 40.6 percent. This is the expression value for the efficiency of the half your rectifier. Understood? Okay. It is so don't confuse with the efficiency and the, and the ripple factor. If you take the ripple factor of the half your rectifier, okay, it is the ripple factor for half your rectifier is equal to it is 1.21. And if you take the efficiency. It is equal to 40.6 percent efficiency is is less and the amount of ripples are more in the half your rectifier okay i'm again i'm going to repeat here okay this p uh, or this formula uh, eta is equal to pdc divided by uh, what pac and irm is equal to im by 2 and idc is equal to im by pi is to be considered okay and i'm going to calculate the ac power it is uh, I RMS square into RD plus RL. I'm going to place the value of the I RMS, which is equal to, it is I M divided by two. After placing in this one, I'm going to get as I square M divided by four into RD plus RL. In the same way, I'm going to calculate the DC power, which is equal to I square DC into RL. I'm going to place the uh, it is value of the IDC, which is equal to I M divided by pi. After placing that, I'm going to get as I square M divided by pi square into RL. And if these two values is to be placed in this equation, and after simplification, I'm square, I'm square is going to cancel, and you are going to get as of the 0.406 into RL divided by RD plus RL. RD is assumed to be 
the very very less so it is to be neglected neglected means it is considered this as of the zero it is equal to zero plus rl is equal to rl only so it is equal to 0.406 into rl divided by rl means rl rl is going to cancel so that you are going to get it as a the 0.46 into 100 after multiplying with the 100 you are going to get as it is equal to is 40.6 percent understood this is the efficiency for the half your equipment and in and uh, and in the same way if you want to calculate the efficiency for the full wear rectifier here yeah. so it is for the full wear rectifier irm is to be considered as im divided by root 2 and idc is equal to im divided by pi okay it is once again same as that uh, it has been considered in this while calculating the ripple factor there okay so this irm is equal to im divided by 2 and idc is equal to am im divided by pi is to be considered and the ac input power is given by again the same formula is pac is equal to i square rm is into rd plus rl the only difference is that i am going to consider the value of the irm is equal to im divided by root 2 in the full wave rectifier either it can be the center tap rectifier or it can be the bridge rectifier anyone okay so the value of the pac is equal to im square divided by 2 it is under root 2 into under root 2 you are going to get as only 2 here Into R D plus R L. In the same way, so what the D C output power is given by? It is P D C is equal to I square D C into R L. I am going to place the value of the I D C, which is equal to two I M divided by pi. If it has been squared here, I square D C is there. So this is equal to four I M square divided by pi square into R L. So I am going to place the value of the P A C and the value of the P D C in the efficiency equation. Eta is equal to it is P D C divided by P A C into Uh, what hundred percent? After placing that, what what I am to what I am to what I am going to get the PDC is equal to four i square m divided by pi square into RL. I am going to place at to the numerator and at the denominator it is PAC which is equal to i square m divided by two into RD plus RL. I square m divided by two into RD plus RL into hundred percent. So after simplification, it is equal to four i m square i m square divided by uh, divided by pi square into So if it goes upwards means it is equal to it is two divided by I m square into it is R l divided by R d plus R l again the I m square and the I m square is it is going to cancel four into two is equal to eight eight into eight divided by pi square into R l divided by R d plus R l into hundred percent again uh, after 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 simplifying eight divided by pi square so that you are going to get it is equal to zero point eight one two into R l divided by R d plus R l. So R D is assumed to be is very small and it is going to be neglected here. So this R L divided by R L is it is going to cancel. Eta is equal to zero point eight one two into hundred percent. So eta is equal to eighty one point two percent. Okay, it's very simple. Again, I am going to repeat the efficiency. So okay, so that you should consider I R M is equal to I M divided by root two. I D C is equal to I M divided by pi. And after that, you should consider the formula for the E C. Input uh, input power in so in this equation you should place the value of the IRMS in the same way you, you should consider the formula for the DC output power and the value of the IDC is to be placed in this equation and afterwards the AC power and the DC power okay the values is to be placed in the efficiency equation and after simplification you are going to get as of the point eight one two. Which uh, if it is to be multiplied by hundred, it is eighty one point two percent. This is the expression for the efficiency of the full wave rectifier. Understood? So if you represent the formula at the one point, this I M I M is equal to sir. One day, Mr. Sir, in that one day, you will get it. So I M is equal to it is V M divided by R S plus R S plus R L, and for the half wave rectifier. I R M is equal to I M divided by two. I D C is equal to I M divided by two. In the same way for the full wave rectifier, I have indicated in short as F W R, so that you should consider it as of the the full wave rectifier. And for the half wave rectifier, I have indicated as H W R half wave rectifier. It is equal to I R M is equal to I M divided by root two. I D C is equal to two I M divided by pi. And if you take the formula for the ripple factor, R is equal to under root of I R M is equal to pi D C whole square minus one. And uh, uh, so the half wave rectifier, if you take the ripple factor 1.21 for the full wave, it is equal to 0.482. In the same way, the efficiency is to be given by it is equal to 
the speed is divided by PAC in which PDC is equal to I square DC into RL. And if you take the PAC, it is equal to I square RMS into RD plus RL. And the efficiency, uh, it is for the half year, is equal to 40.6%. For the full year rectifier, it is equal to 81.2%. The important point to be observed in this case is efficiency of the full year rectifier is double the half year rectifier. So for the full year rectifier, you can able to say this is equal to 81.2%. And for the half year rectifier, it is equal to, it is 40.2. If it is multiplied by 2, so that you are going to get for the full year rectifier. Okay. So it is uh, all about the expression of, uh, it is for the ripple factor and the efficiency. And uh, this is to be very, very important. In the examination, he may ask you to derive the efficiency and the ripple factor for the half wave rectifier as well as for the full wave rectifier also. Okay, in, and in the next class, we are going to study about the filters. Okay, uh, so, okay, thank you very much.